Hello everyone, my name is Katie. I am the introverted reader. Welcome to the book haul that I promised you. Ask and you shall receive on this channel. We have a lot of books to get through. Um, some of these I've had for a while. I just haven't hauled them. If I have shown you guys them in a previous video, I do apologize. I'm just old and I forget. And by the by, if you hear any outdoor noises or my door rattling, it's because I have a window open because it's just way too warm in this room. So the window's staying open. Anyway, um, so I have a lot of books to get through. So the first book I want to show you guys is one that actually just arrived this morning. And that's The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson. This is technically the fourth book in her Truly Devious series. But the Truly Devious arc is like done. This is like a new story, but it's following the same character. She's like home for the summer after her after her adventures at Ellingham Academy and uh, yeah that, that's really all I know and I think this one is set in a summer camp this time or a place that used to be a summer camp so I'm really really excited to get into this. I'm not going to talk too much about the books because like I said I have a lot. So anyway the next book I want to talk about is You're the One That I Want by Simon James Green. Yes I have two copies. Um, this copy right here that I've read and tabbed was the copy that uh, Kaz over Cats of Camera lovingly sent to me. Again, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And this copy is actually from the Gaze the Word bookshop. They were selling um, signed editions and I just had to grab one. I just had to. Um, so yeah, it's signed by Simon. Hopefully one day I'll get to meet Simon in person um, so that he can sign a book for me. But I have these two now and they're very, very special to me. Maybe this one is a little bit more special to me because my friend sent this to me. But I love this one equally as much. So who says you can't have two copies of your favourite book of the year thus far? Who says? The next book I want to show you, Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating by Adiba Jagradar. <laughs> um, this is Adiba's second book. Um, she is also the author of The Henna Wars, which is up there behind Jack Skellington. Um, yep, yeah, this is wonderful. I think the title is self-explanatory. I've just, I just uh, finished reading this this month. So I'll talk about this more in my wrap up, but I just wanted to show you guys, like, look at this cover. Like, it's absolutely stunning. I love it so much. Um, next book I want to show you is Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. This is Aidan's second book. They are also the author of Cemetery Boys, which is up there behind Sally. Um, I haven't read this yet. Um, there's uh, mixed reviews on this. I haven't really heard a review, actually, of people saying that they liked it. If you've read this and you liked it, let me know in the comments because Pete, there's mixed feelings. A lot of people... Well, um, are saying, like I was watching Mel over at Mel Reads, her uh, mid-year freak out tag, which I will be doing soon, just <laughs> bear with me. But um, she said this was her biggest disappointment. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna take that with a pinch of salt and I'm gonna read this myself. But if you read it and you liked it, let me know how you felt. Oh, it's a Peter Pan retelling. I don't know if I caught, I don't know if I told you that, but yeah, but like look at the cover, it's so pretty. Next book I want to show you is another one that I recently read and it's You'll Get Through This Night by Daniel Howell. It is signed. I don't know if I told you guys that, but um, it's signed. Waterstones were selling signed editions as well. So I was like, I need to get the signed edition. Um, but yeah, this is kind, this is uh, Dan's uh, new book that he birthed into the world. Um, I think he wrote this during lockdown. I think a lot of authors were writing during lockdown. Like, it's amazing. Like, where do you get the creativity? But anyway... This is a, a practical mental health guide. And yes, I, I recently read this. Well, I finished it this month. I started it in May, but we finished it this month. And I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. I would highly recommend this. So like, get yourself a copy, get the audiobook. I listened to the audiobook for it and the audiobook was really good. Next book I wanna show you is this lovely thing that matches me. This is the Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas animated classics edition. Like, Oh my goodness, there's like, I need to show you, like, like, look at these end pages, like, and there's like concept art in here. Um, let me show you a picture. Let me show you a picture. Like, there's art in here. It's like basically the story of the movie, but in a book. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Like, I really want to, I low-key want to collect <laughs> some of the other Disney animated classics editions that are out there, but anyway, um... 
Next one I want to show you, Roll of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. This is the next book within the Grishaverse. I haven't read King of Scars yet and I don't want to just yet until I've read through um, the original trilogy first. I want to read them first but like look at the actual book on the inside and the spine. There's nothing on the back though but Ugh, I really, why do they do that? Like, why would you put it on the front and on the spine but not on the back? It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, next book within the Grishaverse. Haven't read it yet, but I want to read the original trilogy first. This is all about Nikolai, who I remember being my favorite character within the original trilogy. So I'm really excited to read his duology. The next four books actually all go together. <laughs> And it's the Lightning Struck Heart series by TJ Klune. If you remember, I read this last year, this entire series last year, and loved it. Literally, one of my favorite series of all time. So it goes The Lightning Struck Heart, A Destiny of Dragons, Consumption of Magic, and the last one, Wish Upon the Stars. Like, this is a gay fantasy story about a boy called Sam of Wilds, and he's a magician's apprentice, and it's super, super gay, super, super magical, and super, super adult. <laughs> Be an adult before you read this, but like, I'm so happy that I have physical copies of these now. I will be doing a reread of this series very, very soon. The next book is Sweet and Bitter Magic by Adrian Tooley. This is a sapphic fantasy romance about uh, two witches, I believe. One of them has lost her magic. She was, um, she practiced like forbidden magic and was kicked out of her coven. And I think the other one has like magic that our other girl needs to use to save her father. I think that's the way. <laughs> but like, I mean, look at this cover. Gorgeous, gorgeous purple cover. I'm really excited to read this. Yeah, I don't overly know what it's about, but you know, it, it was on my wish list and I just one day decided to buy it. <laughs> you know when your mental health is going a bit downhill and you're like, I'm gonna buy myself some books to cheer me up. This is what this book haul is. Um, next one, Heartstopper, volume four. You guys know I read this uh, last month, absolutely loved it. If you haven't read the Heartstopper series, highly, highly recommend that you do. It's beautiful, it's cute, it's heartwarming. It's gonna be a Netflix show and I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited for volume five in this series. It's just, oh, I love Dick and Charlie so much. I love them so much. Anyway, and uh, the next uh, book I wanna show you is another, it's a collection of comics, Avatar Imbalance. <laughs> Um, I don't technically know if this is canon or not. I mean, I it's written by a different author. It's written by, hold on, let me get this right. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, so Faith Aaron Hicks wrote the script. Peter Wartman did the art. Um, but I think they did work alongside the creators of Avatar. Um, Brian Con <laughs> Conniette. Uh, I can't pronounce his last name, but uh, these two here, Brian and Michael, um, I think they did work alongside the two of them to obviously birth this into the world and obviously give them credit for it. So I think I've read all of the Avatar comics now. I think I have. I need there to be more. <laughs> I need there to be more. Um, but yeah, I, I love this. Um, again, I'll talk about it in my next wrap up. The next two books that I want to show you is my special Illumicrate editions of Days of Blood and Starlight by Lani Taylor. There we go. It has pink sprayed edges and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. There's a spine on its back and it has orange sprayed edges. There is cover art underneath the dust jackets as well. Let's see. I just didn't want to like unravel them both, but I'll show you the artwork just real quick under Days of Blood and Starlight. I'll take some pictures on Instagram so you guys can see it um, properly. But yeah, those those two. I am just flying through all of these. <laughs> um, the next book I want to show you is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Um, I've been wanting to read more of Alice Oseman's like proper novels because obviously I've read all of Heartstopper and I read Loveless. And uh, this is one of her other ones. Is this her debut novel? I'm not entirely sure, is it? Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm gonna read this. Not overly sure what it's about, but I'm gonna, oh no, 
her debut novel was Solitaire. This isn't her debut, <laughs> but I definitely want to read this very, very soon because I love Alice Oseman's writing. Next book I have is All Boys Aren't Blue by George M. Johnson. This is a memoir, obviously, about George, about uh, them growing up black and queer in America. And it was actually Jesse over at uh, Bowties and Books that um, talked about this last year and they absolutely loved it. And when Jesse loves a book, you know it's good. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to read this. Like the cover art of this book, like stop, it's stunning. The next book I wanna show you, oh my goodness, is one of the most stunning books I've ever seen, Rainbow Gray by Laura Ellen Anderson. She is also the author of the Amelia Fang series. I've never read that series, but Gavin over How Train Your Gavin was going on and on about this book. And there is actually a character in here that is based off of him. Um, I can't remember the character's name, but there is a character in this that is based off of Gavin. And this is the Waterstones edition with this stunning sprayed edge. I mean, it's sprayed all the way around, but like, look at that. And like this cover in general, this is absolutely stunning. Um, so I don't know what it's about. All I know, it, all I saw was this edge and our girl has rainbow hair and I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> Let me just read that and be surprised. Next book I wanna show you, Kate in Waiting by Becky Albertalli. Um, this is her latest novel. Um, I think this is about kids that uh, take part in a musical and the it's like two best friends and they both have a crush on the same guy awkward.com. I'm really excited to read this because I loved Love, Simon, obviously. I didn't love Leah on the offbeat, if you remember. I didn't love that one, but I'm excited about Kate and Waiting. Next one I want to show you is another most anticipated release, and it is Ace of Spades by this lovely author right here. I'm so sorry. I, I don't want to try and say her name and pronounce it wrong and... You know, I, do, I just don't want my dumb white ass to offend anyone. So like, that is her name. If someone could please tell me how to pronounce it correctly, I would I would love that. But this is the Waterstones edition with the gorgeous orange, or, or is it red? No, it's red, Never mind. Um, red sprayed edges. Um, and it's dark academia, kind of like Gossip Girl with a little bit of Pretty Little Liars in there. Um, I didn't get into Gossip Girl. I did watch all of Pretty Little Liars and I did really enjoy that because this is about a school and these two people, our two main characters get made prefects in the school and then once that happens they start getting mysterious messages from this person called Aces. So yeah, I don't know if there will be Ace representation in this. I don't think there, I don't know, I didn't, I, I don't know. I don't know what to expect but like this is a hefty book. She's heavy. So I'm so excited to read this. That will be read very soon. Next one I got was Witches Seeped in Gold by, is her name Shannon? Or is it Sianan? It's just the Irish in me is coming out. Um, I'm <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna say Shannon Smart. Um, I'm gonna assume it's pronounced that way. If it's pronounced another way, let me know. But yeah, this is a fantasy story about witches. And uh, one of them's the daughter of like this evil, I don't think she's evil. I think she's just, um, her mother took over this land and she teams up with this other girl who's in prison to like overthrow the crown. I think that's what it's about, but this cover is stunning. Um, I heard Joel over at Fictional Fates talk about this and he absolutely loved it. So, and again, if Joel likes the book, then it must be good. Anyway, we're in the home stretch. <laughs> Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang, sequel to The Poppy War. Read The Poppy War last month, no, not last month, the month before, finally, and absolutely adored it. And I'm so excited to carry on with the series. I did order The Burning God, but the pre but the but um, the paperback for that won't be out for a while. So I have this anyway, and I'm so excited to continue on. Um, the next book I want to show you, Crown of Gilded Bones by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the third book in the um, From, From Blood and Ash <laughs> series. Mixed feelings on this one. Not a lot of people like this one, but um, you know, whatever. I'm excited to get to it. I need to read Flesh and Fire first and then I'll get to this one. But like, I am super, super excited because I love a good fantasy paranormal romance. We love them in this house. And the very last book in this monster of a book haul is The Ravens by uh, Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. Olivia over at Olivia Reads a Latte 
said this was kind of like um, American Horror Story Coven meets Scream Queens. So I'm like, I need this in my life. So yeah, happy to have it. I hope to read it soon. Anyway, <laughs> that is it for my book haul. <laughs> I feel very, very lucky to be able to have these books in my possession. I recognize my privilege. I know, I know, but like, you know, when I don't really have any excuses, I just wanted them, so I got them. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, let me know you're here, subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.